Our next guest is pretty good at radio. Hello. Hi. Television. Next up on our perfect holiday. And podcasts. But he's a certified Lego Master. Welcome to Lego Masters Season 4. From the brick pit to the quick draw arena. Today's build is a bridge too far. Please welcome Hamish Blake. There he is. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, hello guys, uh, how are hello. you? Has anyone used this as your intro in this promo burst? Oh no, but I'm sure Channel 9 promos <laughs> thought about using it as the Lego Masters promo and then realised how expensive it was. Yeah. <laughs> we had a few of them. <laughs> Can I just share? Hi guys, hello. Oh, well, hi, 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 hello. Fancy Welcome. seeing you. Can I share with you, I mean the magic of TV promos, a few years ago, I reckon it was two years ago, they are like, hey, come here, we want to show you the promo. Like we're really excited. It's yeah. gonna be, People are going to love this for Lego. Mm. And it was the Prince song. Let's go crazy. Oh yeah, good. Um, great track. Except they were like, but when they say let's go crazy, we're gonna get someone to sing over that. Let go crazy. <laughs> and I was oh, like, fun. right, right. And then Is they go, a prank? We'll, we'll play it to you. Went, no, I think I get it. <laughs> no, 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 we'll play it. And so then the song starts, and then so I had the bill from Primos was like, dun, dun, oh no. And then every time the lyric goes, they would point at me and go, let let go crazy. I like, yes, I get it. I get it. It's like I'm in the meeting. I get it. And then I was like, well, you know, let's have a look at the other ideas. They're like, no, that's the we love it so much like we just got to do the legals and pay yeah. for the song then i think they found out how much it costs to buy a print song and they came back and went got another idea you're flying around on a big wave of lego <laughs> <laughs> okay great well, actually speaking of the promo i saw the one for sunday and nothing says serious tv elim- elimination like a man in a monkey jumper because your, your face to, to, to do the serious <laughs> elimination like, I don't know if you've seen the promo. It's a blue jumper with a monkey on it. Oh, yeah, really? Fun. They're, they're massive at the moment. We're, uh, uh, Joel and I have been discussing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you've been thinking about buying one. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, guys, let me give you my spare one from Channel 9 Wardrobe. Oh. Oh. Is it cotton? Was it a cotton knit or a woolly thing? Because you get warm in that studio. Yeah, great mm. call. I... I've been on TV before. <laughs> <laughs> it can get warm under the lights. Do you know what? You just there's just not a lot of stuff to wear on TV. And I early on went, hey, can I not wear the TV uniform? Oh yeah, yeah. The, the navy is, blue. Is, is that they, why you wore the puffer oh, jacket in yeah. one of those series? Because well, no, we even discussed I think it I was in dressed, here. I think I was dressed as Marty McFly for one episode. But oh. I mean, I do get into weird outfits because I get bored. But yeah. I, the normal thing that you wear, because I was like, can I just not wear jeans? And a white t-shirt and a blazer with sneakers. Yes, yeah, I, oh, I mean, yeah. all due respect to Grant Daniel. Can I not wear the Grant Daniel uniform? Well, you oh, were no. you were always an inspiration for radio billboards. I used to always say, why can't I just wear a t-shirt in my shoot like Hamish and Andy do? Yeah, well, at least you don't have to wear the. You don't, at least you don't have to wear the gay the gay TV presenter uniform, which is a bow tie and a sparkly blazer like your Richard Reed. I'm like, thanks, I'm in my twenties. And we all love showing me the movie. And you're not oh, in your 20s. <laughs> I was in my 20s when I was working at Channel 7. Oh, Richie, okay. Thank you very much. It's good to see you. Well, great to be in, guys. Great to be here. I mean, I bought Peanut Brittle. Well, but you kind of didn't know as we worked out. Well, I, no. went, I, was on a, I was, went to a cafe before I got here and I said, you've got anything sweet? And they went, we just made Peanut Brittle. And they gave me what can only be described as a commercial quantity, like a trafficable <laughs> amount. Mm. And so I ate a lot and then I bought it. Because it's like it's probably about five Snickers worth. Yeah, so, okay. you know, oh, that's speaking the, of the Snickers. Oh. Snickers of the gang. That's yeah. for the gang. That's for everyone. No anaphylactic issues or anything. Is it in your teeth now? I don't think so. I'm, I'm not going to make you eat that bit. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's aerosolized. <laughs> um, what do we want to talk about? Because, you know, Lego Masters is huge. You've dominated in that big Monday night slot. Hey. It's number huge. one show of all time. Yeah, that's yeah, the end. Well it's, it's not. <laughs> oh, yes. No, I think the voice actually just said just out. But if you say stuff like that, no one checks no, it. No, 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 no one checks it. Every, every network says it. <laughs> every network says it. Yeah, I, yeah. I always loved it in radio too, where people would come out and like in various ways say they were number one in the ratings. Oh, yes. All you have to do is take the bottle of, like, get a big bottle of champagne. Like, there's a certain other radio station that loved a ratings day <laughs> Instagram post. Mm-hmm. And when Ando and I did two, sort of two stints, and when we came back the second time to do Drive Radio, our Sydney ratings were terrible. Like, it was just in the toilet. I think we were fourth or fifth, like, every time. Hey, hey, it's all right. It's, it's okay. Right. You're here it's now with us. We can't everything. <laughs> but, I, but I was like, guys, can we do an Instagram post where the whole team, because there's five of us on the show, yeah. is all holding up a finger like, you know, number one. Woo. and with a champagne bottle and just go, thanks so much, guys. Amazing Sydney results. Yeah. And, and, if, and then if anyone calls us on it, we can go, no, it's a cumulative five. We're all holding up number one. And if you add them together, that's yeah. what we meant. Sorry if it was misleading. Yeah. Sorry if we, if we were celebrating fifth. Right. That's so brilliant. The number one Lego-based Monday night TV show. Smashing it. Yes. No, it is great. It's we're like, you know, I don't, yeah. No one cares about the rank, but people are watching yes. it and that's lovely. Oh, and it's great TV. Yes. I sit at home and watch it with my daughter. Oh, thanks so much. 
so much. Oh, it's really good. Because you can't get your internet to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you've told us that. Yeah, I, I'm as, barely... as soon as I can watch Anatomy of a Scandal, <laughs> I'm in. Oh, is that good? I thought awesome. about starting that last night. It's really oh, good if you finish watching Lego Masters to get into Anatomy okay, of a Scandal. I will. Is that on like nine now? Nice. Uh, that is on Netflix now. <laughs> <laughs> That's on Netflix later. Oh, good. Yeah. It's nice that you've come in, actually, because last time I think Joel and I saw you, we ruined your dinner. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, no, we were right. at a steak restaurant. Yeah, and we you guys, stood over you. You guys came in like a <laughs> surprise, surprise gotcha. Came in <laughs> no, came no. Like no. Breathing like tornado, margarita all over you. I wasn't invited. Oh, where was I? No, they were having that. That was the No Kates party. Was that yeah. that yeah, night? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. you were yes, invited to that dinner. Right you pulled here. out. They were all going, trading stories for hours yeah. and hours. And it was like a lock in. It was just yeah. trading Kate stories. Yeah. It was like a speakeasy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we had all magnums of champagne putting at the number one. <laughs> number one, <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> number <laughs> one night without Kate. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yeah, I, no, we got in early. You came in late and we were a little bit. Hot, that's all. So. You just had, had a great time, and that's yeah, what yeah, a restaurant yeah. was for. That's what restaurants are for. <laughs> They're not yeah, that especially out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've been here a couple of times with Quick Draw, and I believe you've won. I have. Um, taste I, I can only remember the times I've been crushed, though. But, Kate, we've been pathetic lately. You and I, the I guest has been. You and I have been pathetic lately at Quick Draw. Mm. The guest has won so often this year. We really need to up our game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do Kate, you reckon playing it a lot helps you, or do you get, <laughs> no. do you get tangled up in like old answers? Do you think it helps us? No, not at all. <laughs> if you look at the, our track record, the guest has won pretty much every quick draw of the year. <laughs> yeah. Well, who's doing that? Hey, every day's a new, fresh day. Yes. We haven't lost interest in dressing like the blue. You're at the Blues Fest. <laughs> I've been waiting, I've been waiting, and you mucked it up. No, did, <laughs> did you blue <boo> elbow? <laughs> I actually have to take my boot off because I haven't worn these boots for about three Good years. Boots on as well. and, oh, yeah, yes. she's a boot scooter. And at my, my toe, steel cap. My toe. Sway, you don't see an often, you don't see a suede steel cap on too many work sites. <laughs> With a gold tip. Yeah, you don't see too many gold caps. I have to what? take it off because my foot is actually crippled, and because I haven't worn these boots for a really long time. An interesting story. Oh, when? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my feet, I mean, it's so unsexy. So if you think oh, I'm so sexy. It's, it's unsexy and interesting. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> don't worry. You don't. You now don't get to be privy to my boot story. Oh, no, I want to oh, hear wow. a podcast no. special. <laughs> we have run out of time for everything Is else. A podcast though, special. <laughs> Hurry up. Whipper and after six it. for the rest of that one. Um, okay, here we go. Um, I give a category and a letter, and the first to yell out a correct oh. answer gets a point. The first answer you yell out is locked in. I'll give you a practice question. We'll go Hang on, is it, it's always the same letter throughout the whole thing, or is yes. it a new no. category, new letter? No, same letter throughout the whole thing is another Sorry. radio station's thing. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> mm, <laughs> been on the round. Slightly different player oh, also plays that? categories. So. <laughs> No, different letter every time. Yeah, different letter every time. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's elite. That's yeah, elite. Yeah. No, this is this is just a practice. Uh, name something you'd build out of Lego, starting with T. Tyrannosaurus. Oh, a tampon. I mean, Kate, you've I mean, gone you wouldn't build it practically, but <laughs> answer. Ouch. <laughs> but Hamish's smooth, answer there are was smooth so tiles, good. Not that smooth. Mm. Um, <laughs> Hamish is here. We're going to play quick draw for real when we come back. Kate, Tim, and Joel's quick draw. Quick draw. Hamish Blake is here, Lego Masters, Sunday through to Tuesday. Yeah. 7 o'clock Sunday, 7.30 Monday and Tuesday. I mean, there's other things on as well. There's yeah, not, yeah. a 72-hour show, but yeah. yeah. Sunday, yeah. Sunday mate. <laughs> the news, Today Show, Today Extra. Okay, yeah. welcome to, it's our 71st hour of Lego. Oh, yeah. We're going all the way through to the end of tonight. Back to Studio 10's on around the clock. <laughs> yeah, I know it is. It probably, it probably is to the presenters and they just flip the cameras on and off. And they don't have the heart to tell them it doesn't broadcast the whole time. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> me. Oh, that's how that much they love the show. So, no, that's They love the show, me. they're just doing it non-stop. They are the hardest working people in the show they are, they are. In the world. I couldn't do that show for one day. <laughs> like, I haven't seen their work. family in years. Oh, no way. I could not do it. Mate, have you seen the kind of TV I make? <laughs> Just, no. I walk around in funny suits yelling at people who can clearly see a clock how much time they've got left. <laughs> <laughs> That's the maximum I do. <laughs> All right, we're here. We're ready. We're playing quick draw. Okay, good um, luck. Hamish. Hamish is here Kate. versus Kate Ritchie. The boot oh, scooter. Katie? And to you, Kate. Oh. Did you enjoy her boot case story in the uh, song that we just heard? It actually was great. Yeah, Which was, was your favourite part of it? <laughs> uh, probably the insole bit and yeah. whether or not you needed it. And then we found out that, that your old friend from school was a podiatrist and yeah. told you about the orthotics. It's actually not a boot story. It's a foot story. Oh. Were well, you not listening? Have you lost a, have you lost no, a nail? The, but I thought the bunion twist was classic. <laughs> classic, Kate. <laughs> 
You just come to dinner with us next time. No, I don't want to come. Okay. I want you. I want you to invite me so I can say no. You thank you. You cancelled on the one, the one that we. No, were I didn't. At, you Why? Did because I had a child on. to look after. Yeah, you know the one. The child. <laughs> you know that yes, child? of course. You know, you know that child. child. Okay, here we go. For real, best of seven or first of four. Okay. Name is something you plant in the garden, starting with S. Spinach. Damn it. I think, I think I said swords. Yes, you did say swords. It's not. That's more of a berry after an incident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't technically count as a. Or you pull out of a rock. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Question One's number okay. two. Name something you take camping, starting with M. Microwave. Man. What did you say? Man. <laughs> they're both bad answers. No, they're not. <laughs> going camping with a man is quite nice. That? Well, that's a little I bit think misogynistic. Danish. <laughs> let's let's have a listen. It's the microwave. Oh. Microwave. Oh. Microwave. Oh. Uh, microwave. Mark Five. I, I think, think it is. It's Mark Five. You listen to that. I am. Mark Five. I think that's oh, Hamish. So, yeah, I think it's Hamish. Oh, Mark Five. You you do have the better answer, Kate, but I do think it's Hamish. What would you rather take camping? Probably. <laughs> I mean, well, you're never going to not need a microwave, and you, you don't. You can't have an annoying microwave. <laughs> Question three: Name something you'd find in a child's playroom, starting with B. Bed, baby. Bed. Oh, oh my Kate. god! Straight out the block. Bed. Yeah, you have a bed in there so they can nap in there. Mm, must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Very big playroom. <laughs> no, it's good. Well done. Yeah, it was a good answer. <laughs> it was good. It was, you could have a Barbie. You know, you could have a toy bed. Yep. Yeah, well fun. Um, question number four. What's the score, please, Joel? <laughs> oh, it is uh, two points to Kate, one point to Hamish. Name the brand minutes. of car starting with M. Mazda. Mazda. <laughs> yeah, Magna's a make. I didn't say Magna. I said Mazda. Okay. That was yes. Okay. Yeah, she did. That was so. <laughs> was it? Are we not even replaying that one? Because I did no, feel that like was, I got in. I thought that was a dead heat. Oh, let's go to the replay. Oh, I, I just, I just did a ding. Master. Master. That was me. Yeah. Oh, Richie, okay. well done. Jeez, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Question number five. Oh, hang on. This got how intense. Hang on. Hang on. What? Uh, Hamish, you need to get this next question correct yep. to stay in the game. Please let me do my job. I don't have much admin in this game. <laughs> yeah. And really just for, I mean, it's not looking good for me, but just for the dignity of going, I can't let the only thing I answer correctly be take a microwave camping, which we all know <laughs> is a terrible answer. Okay. Get a Winnie Bago or here something. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here we go. For the win, Kate Richie, to stay in the game. Name a department in a radio station starting with P. Power! Promotions. Promotions! That was definitely Hamish. Twenty years in the game, baby. <laughs> I used to work in promotions. I started as a Casanova at this very network. Oh, oh, yeah. For someone who doesn't do much with scoring, you're certainly jamming yourself. In. <laughs> <laughs> it's three, two. All right. Come on, Gage. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We could be coached. <laughs> no, I'm not Question do six. Because I get really excited at this point. Again for the win, Kate. <laughs> Name something green starting with C. Carrot. Carrot. Oh, top. Oh, no, carrot top. No, you're, in, you're in first. No, you're in. No, 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 no. The top oh of a carrot is green. <laughs> the top of a carrot is I'm green. Two set points. Two set points have been saved. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Kate. I sucked myself out of being psyched. Come on, Kate. It's amazing with the tennis banter. This has gone longer than the women's final. <laughs> <laughs> Equal pay, though. Equal pay. Oh. <laughs> That's our little joke. It's not a little joke. Uh, name a type of muffin starting with B. Banana. Ah! Ah! Hey, miss. Just needed to warm up. Let's go. No, let go. Let go. That's Lego nuts. Let go. Wow. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Well Let's done. Do it together, ready? Great game. Yeah, but I can dance. Enjoy it. It's good to have something. Because you don't have the win. Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.